Hi, Cancer. This is going to be a love reading for you. This is for anyone who has Cancer in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know in their love life for their highest good and only their highest good? What does Cancer need to know about their love life? What does Cancer need to know for their love, their love life? Death, Seven of Swords. <clears throat> High Priestess. So there's a lot of secrecy. No, I don't know if this is. If this is an ending that you don't know about or secrets that cause an ending, we'll see. What does Cancer need to know? Okay. Well, that's so vague. We're going to clarify. What is the death about? Why is, why is death here? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. So we have Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. <clears throat> Lovers. Okay, what else can you tell me about death? So someone could be confused about a connection, whether this is you or the other person. Um, there could be a choice involved. Oh gosh. Nine of Pentacles, Star, and the Moon. Huh. like this person I mean this could, this could go a lot of ways but what I'm getting immediately is that this person could be confused about making a decision whether it's between two people But I feel like they, they really dwell on it at nighttime. So I kind of feel like they're alone. And this might have, this might have been going on for some t quite some time. I don't know. This it's a little a little weird. Seven of Swords, the Emperor. Okay. <clears throat> I'm starting to not like this person. <laughs> I get an energy that they are very aggressive and can be manipulative and just think about sex. And they're sneaky. Well, let's keep going because I need to know what oh Hierophant I don't know when that flipped over but maybe I should put it back because I don't know when it flipped over oh 
next to the higher, not the higher fan. Oh my goodness. The high priestess could be telling me that you already know what to do about this situation. It's your intuition. Listen to your intuition. I feel like the universe is sending you signs. You might have to look at it from a different perspective. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like this connection is not the best connection. It could lead to a lot of confusion. They kind of just want this connection for the attention. Especially when they're lonely at night. They're kind of like the type of people that send you the, are you up text? <laughs> I don't know why I just got that. It's awful. I'm so sorry for laughing. It's just, sometimes the energies just bring me back to my own experiences, you know? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like this person is aggressive. Like, and not in a good way. There's a lot of fighting. They're really um, hard-headed. That's what I'm getting. They could have, like, you could have blowout fights with them. They just blow up, like, out of nowhere. Ten of Pentacles. What is the Ten of Pentacles here? Okay. Yeah. This connection just isn't, um, it's not one that will create a stable life for you. You need to focus on stability. I feel like this connection can really get you stuck in your head. <clears throat> and the cards are, just, are saying that it, it needs to just come to an end. Sorry, it's not that grave of a reading cancer. Um... But with the current energies right now, that's what I'm getting. Obviously, if it doesn't resonate, it's not your reading. So don't make it apply. Don't force it if it doesn't fit. If it's meant for you, you're going you're gonna to hear this and think, yeah. That's exactly what I was already thinking. Because we have the High Priestess here. And she's all about listening to your intuition. So it's telling me that you've already thought this and... <clears throat> you might be you no know, questioning your intuition. But your intuition is right. Um, so I, I wish you the best. And take care of yourself. I hope this brought some clarity and guidance for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Love ya.